I'm going to show you in this video how to set up a tabbed notebook. So this PDF notebook has tabs configured which flip from uh, one side to the other as you turn the pages. Now um, if you set up 3D page turning for this then you kind of want the tabs to be animated as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so the first thing to do is move to a page that has all the tabs showing. So that's uh, a few pages in, essentially. Um, and we're going to use the polygon tool just to draw over the area that we want to see animated when we turn a page. So you just need to take your time here, make sure that uh, you get um, a nice accurate area for the turn and it needs to include the tabs so I'm just going around to each side and adjusting the polygon to um, cover the area that we want that should be fine and then we go to page settings um, and we need to do a center turn and then we need to set selected rectangle as page area and it's taken um, the selected polygon we've just added and it's um, defined that as the um, area over which the pages will be animated so the final thing to do in that respect is um, use the copy properties to pages, 3D page turning and copy to all pages and then we can delete that um, polygon. So now when we turn a page we're going to see it animated and it looks sort of okay but the tabs aren't quite right. They're being shown animated but there's like an extra bit that we don't want to see flipping over. So if I take this page as an example, as I turn to the next page, um, sorry, this page, where the red tab flips over to the other side, then um, we want to blot out um, what's above the red tab and what's beneath it, and we can use the polygon tool to do that again. So what you do is you draw over the area that's above it that we don't want to see. And you can just go a little bit over the um, tight on the tab edge, but um, just a bit over on the on these other edges, just to make sure it's going to blot out those regions. And when you're happy with the size of that, then we can use the um, shape settings link set it to page leave it not linked and then press add window and that tells zoom notes to use that just to blot out that area during the page turn and then we do the same with this area underneath so again we want quite tight on the tab then the settings page, not linked, as window, turn off the fill. So then we're going to turn the page and we see on initially it's fine but as it starts showing the next page it's not good, not fine so we have to do the same on this uh, this side. And you can do this with copying and pasting um, but just for this example I'm just going to do it um, manually um, turn off the fill
Okay, uh, and this is slightly different because this is just flipping uh, a page over. So we want to blank out the whole of this right hand tab. And the whole of this left hand tab. And you'll see what I mean when we go back. So, actually, if you're doing this whole notebook, then it's a can be well it's, it's quite quick just to carry on as you are and just keep drawing them but equally you can um, I'll just show you um, here I'm going to select these two polygons I'm going to um, copy them then I know this page I can paste them in place select the top one and just resize it down to the right correct place just there and this one resize it down to here and that just saves a bit of time because um, they're already configured as um, Polygons that are used to blank out the, the that area of the of the page during the page turning. 